Good morning, folks. Space weather is fairly quiet here at Earth, but we've got items to watch on our star as the previously active regions begin turning out of view. You will notice that the left side, incoming, is far more active this morning. We've got several erupting filaments and we'll be watching the more active areas turn in towards the Earth this weekend, along with the northern coronal hole you saw in the bronze view. Better look at the filaments here as they dance around and imply our brief break from solar events isn't going to last long. No solar wind notes as all is calm as well as geomagnetic conditions. We are kicking off the other science with the global network massively coordinating to search for dark matter and finding absolutely nothing. Excellent use of taxpayer funds. And they won't find anything because the cosmology is incorrect. Fun paper on some of those glaring problems in cosmology and an explanation for the apparent dipole of the universe, something the field has recognized a number of times but doesn't exactly know what to do about considering that makes it a giant magnet. Folks, there is definitive proof of the higher proton flux in the South Atlantic anomaly, especially during solar storms. As the anomaly grows and the overall field of Earth continues tanking, those plasma penetrations will be ever more relevant. Anomalous cosmic rays seen by Parker at very close distances to the Sun implicate a rising flux of those particles in the solar system as the Sun's output is lower than it was for most of the 1900s. There is also an argument to be made for the galactic current sheet inclusion in blame for the changing inner system dynamics, and with that, let's move on to a new way to spot galactic magnetic fields, and while it is in its infancy, it's only letting them see the most obvious sources within the spiral arms, they just can't yet see the interspiral shocks, the smaller waves radiating outward every 10 to 100 light years, rather than the thousands of light years between spiral arms. Indeed, the smaller rippling sheet is much harder to see, but it's not confined to the spiral arms and radially flows like the solar wind IMF in the Parker spiral. Now last but not least, we made a huge deal of this when the revelation was made months ago, and this is but a follow-up but it's still a nice reminder of the names that micronova take across the cosmos. Many dwarf nova are micronova. Transient brightening events, X-ray bursts producing dust, transient darkening events, and episodic mass loss events like the ones here. The big story here is the description of the mass loss event as being ejected like a broad and wide encompassing CME all around. You don't say. That's a big yes from the micronova crowd. Fine, call it whatever you want. Just don't sleep on the sun's potential to do the G-Class star version of it. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on those incoming active regions on the sun. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.